Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about how to create custom validation in LWC. So this is very most important for us if you are working as a custom validation on the your component. Okay, so if you are new in this channel, so please like, share, comment, also subscribe the channel. Also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So please watch this video until end. If you want to learn something new, so let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, let me create one LWC component. And before that, let me tell you what is the custom validation in LWC. So when we are working with input value, sometimes user enter the bad data. In this situation, we need to validate the data and show the custom error message to the user to correct the data. So use the set custom validity and report validity method to validate and display the custom error message. So we can leverage this feature in this video. So now, first of all, let me create one LWC component. So I'm using Windows. So you can press Control Shift P, create the Lightning Web component. Okay, Control Shift P and custom validation. This is my component name. Enter it. Now you can see my component is created successfully. So now here, let me design first of all HTML. So let's say I can search like custom validation html and markup okay come and the js is already there i need like a xml file so custom validation you can see xml file okay so we can change here make it as a true because if you want to expose this component outside um, you know vs code to you know, salesforce so always make it as is exposed as true and then target you can make it target okay like record page app page and home page so i'm using here you can see this one so i successfully deployed this component now let me design html first so how we can design very simple and very easy way we can design it so first of all let me add the card this is the basic structure of the template so let me remove unwanted code from here now here we can use here let's say custom validation using LWC okay now here I can use my lightning input so I can type like a lightning okay input so lightning input we have to type like lightning in it can be anything for now I'm using like a text so you can search from text here let's say lightning text okay type text uh, let me remove this one from here and now name we can remove the name because I don't want to take here and level we can change enter enter your or enter name something like that enter name placeholder if you want to add placeholder leave it as it is otherwise you can use it this one now let me add some class that's a class name name input something like that okay so it's a name input this is the first input now let me design to another input. So another input is type as a date. Okay. Like enter date, something like that. And now here class name, we can change it like a date input, something like that. So this is the two input. Based on these two input, we can validate this data. So now after that, I can add my button like this. Okay. So this is a submit button, for example, purple handle click. And this is some class. I can add my SLDS as well, like SLDS. Great. Okay, like this. Let me save this one. Now here you can see our HTML is done. Now we can check this HTML is updated based on our, you know, design. So how we can check? Let me open my org. So this is my org. Let me open any object as we have, let's say, opportunity. We can open any opportunity as we have, let's say, all opportunity. At, let me open this opportunity here let me add my component inside this uh, record page click on this edit button and you can edit this page here so just drag and drop your component that is custom validation so this word so just drag and drop anywhere as you want let me click on the save activate it and now assign to default or click next save this once you save it, just go back here. And now you will be see the, you know, 
uh, this UI. So we already created this card, input type and these all things. But please observe our input is very close to this card. So we can give some, you know, padding. So how we can give. So just here in this card, right? Or in this here, we can add one div. Okay. Uh, sit around medium. Okay. So and after that, this button, we can close it. This tick. Let me save this. And now we can see this uh, margin is applied for this one or not. Okay. So just refresh it. And now here you will be see some spaces between the card and input type. So our two inputs like enter name, enter date and button here you can see, right? And there is no validation. Once you click submit button, there is no validation here. Let's say empty or something like that how we can provide it so just you have to open your js file open here so this is the js file under this js file i will tell you the best practice to write this validation okay please keep in your mind anywhere you can see everything right but i will tell you how we can optimize our code and reusable right so that is the main thing about this so nowadays anyone can write the code but how we can write the sufficient or you know reusability or you know in professional way so that is the motive okay so how we can write this code so first of all we have some event in the html you can see the handle click so let me copy this handle click so this is the handle click okay under this event we can use so first of all i will tell you how we can use that so first of all i can create my set validation method okay so after this method set validation method so this is the generic method under this method we can add like selector selector and then we can use like message so this is the generic method so later on we can use that anywhere as you want okay so let's say in uh, this method let me create let input field for example purpose like input field this dot template dot query selector and the selector so this is for import field after that the value so let value equal to we can use input field like this input field or just we can use this input field here dot input field dot and then value okay so this is one after that we can add like if some condition like if not value okay if not value then we can show something like a message right input field dot set custom validity okay let me remove this one and this is set input validity else we can add another condition like else like input field set custom validity as empty after that we can call this input field dot report validity so this is the generic method to validate any kind of inputs as we have okay so right now i'm using only two input so based on this selector and message we can show these things okay so now it's time to add some logic inside our you know button click so under this handle click we can use it so how we can do that so this dot set validation under here right in this method we have to pass two parameter first is like a selector and second is your message so in our case you can see here the class is name input and date input so these all two selector so how we can do that very simple so here in the single code we can use like dot input or just copy and paste that one that is uh, name input copy it paste it here and that is the class so class always donated by the uh, dot operator so name is required same thing we can use for set validation and uh, that is another uh, date so let me copy this date input and here and make it like say date is required something like that let me deploy this component and after the deploying this component you will be see if this functionality will be work or not so please observe guys so this is the generic method set validation and then you have to pass your you know uh, selector and message and then you can use anywhere as you want that is the generic okay so let me see this is 
this uh, this will be working or not so just open the record page refresh this and once you refresh it you can see our component custom validation using lwc click on the submit now you immediately you can see the red border around this input type name and date okay and also the message name is required date is required so let me add some name here let's say rohit okay and uh, I don't want to enter something inside this date field just click on submit now you can see enter name because name is already have some value that's why we cannot see any validation in name field but date field is empty that's why you can see date is required so you can enter the date as well let's say today date for example and click on submit now you can see all validation successfully done and suppose I don't want to enter any name in this field so just I just remove it click on submit now you can see the name field is required at a time you can check both fields or one by one fields like validation okay so guys this is how you can use this custom validation in lwc that is very most important just few lines of code you can make it this validation in your code and improve your productivity so guys i hope you learned something in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never be miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye-bye. Take care. See ya. Thank you for watching, guys. See you again. Bye-bye.